1976, an 11-year-old grew dreams to become a supervillain, assisted by the minions whom he has hired to work for him. Gru was ecstatic when he receives an audition invitation from the Vicious Six, a supervillain team led by Bell Bottom, who hope to find a new member to replace their founder, the supervillain Wild Knuckles following their betrayal and the presumed death of Knuckles during a heist to steal the Zodiac Stone, a stone connected to the Chinese Zodiac. Due to his young age, Gru's interview goes poorly but, much to the outrage of the Vicious Six, he manages to steal the stone and escapes with minions Kevin, Stuart, and Bob, handing the stone to another minion, Otto, for safekeeping. At his basement lair, Gru finds out that Otto has traded the stone for a pet rock, causing him to fire the minions in anger before going alone to find the stone. However, Knuckles, who is revealed to be alive, kidnaps Gru before taking him to San Francisco and informs the minions that if they do not give him the stone within 48 hours, Gru will be killed. To locate the stone, Kevin, Stuart, and Bob leave for San Francisco to rescue Gru, while Otto leaves in pursuit of a biker whom he realizes has the stone as a necklace. When they reach Knuckles' house, they are chased by his goons until Master Chow, a former kung fu teacher who now makes a living at an acupuncture clinic, rescues them by defeating the goons and decides to teach them kung fu after they beg for her to do so, but the three prove to be incompetent students. Prematurely ending their training, the trio heads back to Knuckles' home to rescue Gru. manages to catch up to the biker at Death Valley, who gives the stone back and takes him to San Francisco. Gru starts to bond with Knuckles after the latter's goons quit on him, and later saves Knuckles from being eaten alive by crocodiles in his pool. Teaching Gru how to be a villain, the two decide to rob the Bank of Evil, managing to steal the Mona Lisa. While on the heist, the Vicious Six, having realized that Knuckles is alive, destroy his house one night in an attempt to find him. Failing to do so, they head towards Chinatown, with Kevin, Stuart, and Bob in pursuit. Arriving back at his destroyed house, a shaken Knuckles laments his friend's betrayal and decides to give up villainy, sending Gru away. At a Chinese New Year parade in Chinatown, Otto and Gru find each other with the stone but are cornered by the Vicious Six, who in turn are confronted by anti-villain league agents. However, after the clock strikes midnight, the Vicious Six use the stone to turn themselves into super-powered versions of animals from the Zodiac and prepare to kill Gru by tying him to a clock tower so as to rip him apart. Kevin, Stuart, and Bob manage to find Gru, but are turned into a rabbit, a rooster, and a goat, respectively. However, Knuckles returns and fights the Vicious Six with the minions. Encouraged by
by Chow's teaching, Kevin, Stuart, and Bob find their inner beast and manage to defeat most of the vicious six, but Knuckles is badly burned by Bottom's dragon flames when trying to take the stone back. Kevin, Stuart, and Bob manage to save Gru, who uses the stone to turn the vicious six into rats and the minions back to normal, rehiring them after saving his life. The vicious six are arrested, including Knuckles, who is taken to a hospital and seemingly succumbs to his injuries. At Knuckles' funeral, Gru gives a heartfelt eulogy but is overjoyed when it is revealed that Knuckles faked his death. He and Gru later drive off with the minions. scene, Gru attempts to hire Dr. Nefario in gratitude for an invention of his that helped him steal the stone. Nefario initially declines but changes his mind after Gru and the minions beg, giving them a ride on an airship. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Till the next one, bye!